All right, we're going to start on 5.4, terminating and repeating decimals, and it starts on page 379. We'll begin this section with a little vocabulary startup. It says any number that can be written as a fraction is called a rational number, and every rational number can be written as either a terminating decimal or a repeating decimal. Draw lines from each word to its matching statement. So we have terminating decimal and repeating decimal. The decimal form of a rational number 0 0.3333333333. And the decimal form of a rational number which has a repeating digit of 0, which would be 0 0.625. And the repeating digit 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000 after that. Um, so draw your lines to connect those two and see which one you think goes with what. All right, if you went like this and did a little X here, a repeating decimal is when it goes on forever and ever and ever and ever. We have the threes that go on forever. And terminating decimal is where it ends, where we just have zero that would be repeating. And of course, you know that if I add a bunch of zeros, I can basically block them all off and just end at the five. So it says fractions and terminating and repeating decimals, percents and integers are all rational numbers. Every rational number can be expressed as a decimal by dividing the numerator by the denominator. So top dog and then dog house. To indicate the number pattern that repeats in indefinitely, use a bar notation. Bar notation is a bar placed over the digits that repeat. So notice that for this example, the 54 is repeating. So the bar is over the 5 and the 4. Whereas in this example, the... Um, the one that's repeating is just the three, and so the bar is only over the three, not over the 583, because it's not 583, 583, 583, 583, 583. It's 583333333333. Yeah. So just remember that you're only putting the bar over the repeating numbers so that it represents the right thing. All right, so in the irrational number, it shows us um, three tenths. Uh, which can be written as 0 0.3, where the zeros go on and on forever and ever and ever. But honestly, we would write it as 0 0.3. We're not going to write all those crazy zeros afterwards. Four fifths, we'll have, um, if we made that over a denominator of 10, it would be 8 tenths, which can be written 0 0.800000 or 0 0.8, which is what we really would write it as. Um, 5 over 6, what I found is that if the denominator is a multiple of 3, you're going to see a repeating decimal. So with our, our 5, 6, we're going to end up having it as 0 0.8333333, where the 3 is what's repeating. So it does not terminate. Um, so there's no terminating decimal for that when there's a repeating decimal for it. Uh, remember that it's just top dog in the doghouse. To find that out, we would do top dog in the doghouse add our decimal in, shoot it straight up. How many times does 4 go into 50? Say 8 times, that's 48. We get a remainder of 2, add another 0 and drop it down. 6 goes into 23 times, that's 18. With a remainder of 2, add another 0, drop it down. And now at this point, I'm going to keep getting 20. I'm going to keep getting 2 as my remainder, making it 20, and then ultimately getting a bunch of 3s after that. Forever and ever and ever and ever. Oops, sorry. All right, sorry about that. So example number one is write five twelfths as a decimal. So we're going to do top dog in the doghouse, and I know it's written over here, but I'm just going to rewrite it because my writing is so amazing. And so we're going to do top dog in the doghouse. Five is inside the box. Twelve is outside. Um, Twelve does not go into five, so I'm going to add a decimal point and a zero. Shoot my decimal straight up. Four goes into, or sorry, 12 goes into 50 four times, which makes 48. So remainder of two, so I'm gonna add another zero, drop it down, and then that's gonna be one time, get a remainder of eight, add another zero, drop it down. 12 goes into 80, uh, let's see, six times. I make 72, and I get a remainder of eight. So I'm going to have 80 again, and at this point, I know it's just going to keep going sixes forever and ever and ever. So my final answer is going to be 0 0.416 repeating with that bar notation over the 6. And um, 
what we find is that that remainder will never be zero. It's always going to be eight. And so therefore, we're always going to get six and have that repeating decimal. So I'd like for you to do A, B, and C on your own. Um, remember, we're just doing top dog in the dog house. If it's going on and on and on and repeating, you can do that with the bar notation. Okay, so please pause the video now and do this on your own. All right, so let's check out my answers. Hopefully that you share the same ones. A, when I did top dog in the dog house, I noticed that as I kept dropping down my zeros, I kept getting um, a remainder of four. And so once that started happening, I knew that it was just going to keep repeating over and over again. So it's 0 0.1, and then the 6 is repeating. Not 1, 6 repeating, just the 6. Make sure that bar is only over the 6. For B, um, when I started going right off the bat, I saw that I was going to keep getting that remainder of 8, dropping down to 0, getting another remainder of 8, dropping down another 0. And so that was very quick to see that it was going to be repeating 8s, and so 0 0.8 repeating with the bar notation over top of the 8. For C, I did top dog in the dog house, 2 divided by 11. Um, so I did, it went into it one time, and then that was with a remainder of 9. So then it was 8 times with a remainder of 2, and then one time, and you know, and it just kept going. I kept seeing the same numbers, repeat, repeat, repeat. So 0 0.18 repeating, where it's 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. All right, so write a negative fraction as a decimal. When writing negative fractions as decimals, the process is the same. Divide with the positive fraction, and then write the negative sign in front of the decimal. I love how simple they're making this, okay? It's not crazy. You're going to divide like normal, and then you're going to write the negative sign. There you go. Super crazy, right? So negative 2 ninths. I don't need you to put a negative 2 inside the division box. Okay, we don't need to do that. We're just going to put the regular 2. We're going to divide like normal, add a 0 and a decimal, shoot the decimal straight up. How many times does 9 go into 20? 2 times, get 18, remainder of 2, add another 0, drop it down. How many times does 9 go into 20? It's catch on already, right? And so it's going to be 0 0.2 repeating, but don't forget that it's negative 2 ninths. So I'm just going to add a negative sign. And I'm done. The number three says write negative two and two thirds as a decimal. Negative two and two thirds can be written as negative eight thirds because of they're doing mad. Okay, multiply, add over the denominator. Don't forget the negative sign. Okay, um, the mixed number <clears throat> can be written as negative two point six repeating. Here's the thing: is it's not a horrible idea that you're doing the negative um, eight-thirds and that you're doing mad. But if you have negative two and two-thirds, when I say that, I say negative two and two-thirds, that and is where the decimal would go. That word and is where the decimal goes. So if I say um, one and three-tenths, it would be one and three-tenths. So if I'm doing um, negative two and two-thirds, if I put my negative 2 here, I can just do my 2 thirds, find out what that is, and then add it in here to my negative 2. But if you'd like the extra step, if it makes more sense to you and you don't want to forget about that negative 2, go ahead and do MAD, multiply, add denominator, and then make it an improper fraction and divide top dog in the dog house. Don't forget to add in that negative sign though. And guys, you're going to start noticing things like two-thirds and one-third. One-third is always 0 0.3 repeating. Two-thirds is 0 0.6 repeating. You just start catching on, just like you guys for, for F. If you want to make it, if you want to do mad and make it in proper fraction and then do top dog in the dog house, that's fine. Or if you'd like to just do the number and then add on the one-sixth, that's on, that's on you. Figure it out. All right, so pause the video now and we'll come back. All right, so for D, just like I talked about, so what I wanted to show you is that just like before where I was talking about the one-fourth is 0 0.25, if you know that one-fourth is one-quarter, which is 25 cents, hopefully you didn't have to do much math, and you just knew it was negative 0 0.25.
Whereas for E, I actually had to do top dog in the dog house. I put five inside the division and then I solved it out to be 0 0.83 repeating. But don't forget that negative sign. Number or letter F, I went ahead and went straight to doing the, um, the whole number two and then doing my one sixth here. So that's how I chose to do it. If you did um, top dog in the dog house and you would have been doing 13 divided by six and you would have gotten the same answer negative 2.16 with the six repeating all right so g says of nine students surveyed four said they prefer exercising in the morning rather than in the evening express this fraction as a decimal use bar notation if necessary so this one's not rounding we're using bar notation so go ahead and do g pause the video now all right, so what I did was I took the four top dog in the dog house and divided it by nine. I knew I was going to have to add a decimal and some zeros. And so when I did, um, I shot my decimal straight up. Nine goes into 40 four times. We get 36. Subtract and we get four. Drop the next zero down. Now we've got 40 again. We, we know that four, um, that Nine goes into 40 four times to do 36, and the remainder of four, another drop down to zero. And what you see is that we're just going to keep getting the four remainder, and it's going to go on and on forever and ever and ever. So we would stop and say that this is 0 0.4 repeating. All right, and that ends our amazing um, lesson on terminating and repeating decimals. If you have any questions, make sure you come prepared to ask. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in school.